A behavior is the nervous system's response to a stimulus and is carried out by the muscular or the hormonal system. Ethology is the scientific study of animal behavior. According to early ethologist Nicole Timbergen, four questions should be asked about behavior. First, what stimulus elicits the behavior and what physiological mechanisms mediate the response? Second, how does the animal's experience during growth and development influence the response mechanisms? Third, how does the behavior aid survival and reproduction? Fourth, what is the behavior's evolutionary history? Behavioral ecology is the study of ecological and evolutionary basis for animal behavior. It integrates proximate and ultimate explanations for animal behavior. Proximate causation focuses on the how, such as the first two questions, whereas ultimate causation focuses on the why, such as the third and fourth questions. A fixed action pattern is a sequence of unlearned innate behaviors that is unchangeable. Once initiated, it is carried to completion. A fixed action pattern is triggered by an external cue known as a sign stimulus. For example, in male stickleback fish, the stimulus for attack behavior is the red underside of an intruder. Migration refers to a regular long-distance change in location. Animals can orient themselves using the position of the sun and their circadian clock, an internal 24-hour clock that is an integral part of their nervous system. Animals can also orient themselves using the position of the North Star, as well as the Earth's magnetic field. Some animal behavior is affected by animal circadian rhythm, a daily cycle of rest and activity. Behaviors such as migration and reproduction are linked to changing seasons or a circadian rhythm. Some behaviors are linked to lunar cycles. For example, courtship and fiddler crabs occur during the new and full moon. In behavioral ecology, a signal is a behavior that causes a change in another animal's behavior. Communication is the transmission and reception of signals. Animals communicate using visual, chemical, tactile, and auditory signals. Honeybees show complex communication with symbolic language. They round dance to indicate food nearby, and they waggle dance to indicate a distant food source. Many animals that communicate through odors emit chemical substances called pheromones, which are effective at low concentrations. So far, I covered innate behavior that is developmentally fixed and under strong genetic influence. Learning refers to a modification of behavior based on specific experiences. Learning establishes specific links between experience and behavior. Habituation is a simple form of learning that involves loss of responsiveness to stimuli that convey little or no information. Basically, stop attending to a stimulus that is irrelevant. For example, birds will stop responding to alarm calls from their species if these are not followed by an actual attack. Imprinting is a behavior that includes a specific critical period learning, known as the sensitive period, and innate components that is generally irreversible. A sensitive period is a limited developmental phase that is the only time when certain behaviors can be learned. An example of imprinting is young geese following their mother. Spatial learning is a more complex modification of behavior based on experience with the spatial structure of the environment. Some animals use landmarks to find locations, whereas others construct a cognitive map, which is an internal representation of spatial relationships between objects in an animal's surroundings. In associative learning, animals associate one feature of their environment with another. Classical conditioning is a type of associative learning in which an arbitrary neutral stimulus is associated with an involuntary response. For example, when a dog repeatedly hears a bell, which is an arbitrary stimulus, before being fed, the dog will salivate in anticipation at the bell sound. Operant conditioning is another type of associative learning in which an animal learns to associate one of its voluntary behavior with a reward or punishment. It is also called trial and error learning. For example, a rat that is fed after pushing a lever will learn to push the lever in order to receive food. Culture is a system of information transfer through observation or teaching that influences behavior of individuals in a population. Culture can alter behavior and influence the fitness of individuals. A process known as social learning. Problem solving is the process of devising a strategy to overcome an obstacle. For example, chimpanzees can stack boxes in order to reach suspended food. Cognition refers to a process of knowing that may include awareness, reasoning, recollection, and judgment. For example, honeybees can distinguish same from different. Genetic components of behavior evolve through natural selection. The optimal foraging model views foraging behavior as a compromise between benefits of nutrition and cost of obtaining food. 
which includes energy expenditure and the risk of being eaten while foraging. Natural selection should favor foraging behavior that minimizes cost and maximizes benefit. Game theory evaluates alternative strategies where the outcome depends on each individual strategy and the strategy of other individuals. Like rock, paper, scissors, each strategy will outcompete one strategy but be outcompeted by other strategy. The success of each strategy depends on the frequency of all of the strategies, which drives frequency-dependent selection. The mating relationship between males and females varies greatly from species to species. In many species, mating is promiscuous, with no strong pair bonds or lasting relationships. In monogamous relationships, one male mates with one female, which occurs when there is high needs from young. In polygamous relationships, an individual with one sex mates with several individuals of the other sex, which usually results in sexual dimorphism, in which males and females have different external morphologies. Polygamous relationships can be either polygynous or polyandrous. In polygyny, one male mates with many females. The males are usually more showy and larger than the females. In polyandry, one female mates with many males, and the females are often more showy than the males. Polyandry is a rare mating system. The certainty of paternity influences parental care and mating behavior. Paternal certainty is relatively low in species with internal fertilization because mating and birth are separated over time, whereas it is much higher in external fertilization. In species with external fertilization, parental care is at least as likely to be by males as by females. In intersexual selection, members of one sex choose mates on the basis of certain traits. It is also known as mate choice. For example, female stock eye flies choose males with relatively long eye stalks. Intrasexual selection involves competition between members of the same sex for mates, which often involve agonistic behavior, and often ritualized contests that determines which competitor gains access to a resource. On some occasions, some animals behave in ways that reduce their individual fitness, but increase the fitness of others. This kind of behavior is known as altruism. For example, some animals would risk their own lives to make alarm calls to warn others. Altruism can be explained by two mechanisms. King selection, also known as inclusive fitness, favors altruism under Hamilton's the product of RB must be greater than C. R refers to a relatedness between the recipient and the altruist. B refers to a benefit to recipient, and C refers to a cost to altruist. It basically takes into account the total effect an individual has on proliferating its genes by producing offspring and helping close relatives produce offspring. Altruistic behavior toward unrelated individuals can be explained by reciprocal selection, which is limited to species with stable social groups where individuals meet repeatedly and cheaters who don't reciprocate are punished.